Namaskaram friends, this is Dr. JK and welcome to Dr. JK Talks, where medicine meets morals and facts meet faith. Tell me honestly, when you think of bacteria, you imagine diseases, infections and hospitals, right? But what if I told you some bacteria are your best friends? In fact, you carry more bacterial cells in your gut than human cells in your body. Yes, you are not just you. You are like a walking galaxy. Trillions of microbes live inside you, shaping your digestion, immunity, mood and even weight. Amazing, isn't it? Today, let's open the hidden universe, the gut microbiome. Think of your gut like a huge city. The citizens are trillions of tiny organisms, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and more. Some are good citizens, they help you digest food, make vitamins, and protect you. But some are bad citizens, they cause gas, inflammation, and even chronic disease if they take over. And just like in a real city, if the bad ones outnumber the good, chaos breaks out, traffic jams, fights, and riots inside your stomach. Now, let's see what these good microbes actually do. First, digestion and metabolism. They act like chefs, breaking down fibers and food your body cannot digest alone. They even decide whether your body stores fat or burns it for energy. Second, immunity. About 70% of your immune system is in the gut. Microbes train your immune soldiers to attack the right enemies and ignore the harmless ones. Third, mood and brain. The gut is also called your second brain. Around 90% of serotonin, the happy hormone, is made here. That's why gut microbes constantly send signals to your brain deciding whether you feel calm, anxious and depressed. Fourth, nutrients. They produce vitamins like B and K and substances like butyrate which repair the gut lining. Imagine them as a power plant supplying energy to your cells. Fifth, cholesterol and hormones. Certain microbes regulate cholesterol and even balance estrogen, preventing hormone related issues. So really, your microbiome is like a hidden workforce. Chefs, electricians, trainers, soldiers and accountants working inside you 24 by 7 absolutely free among the trillions two friendly groups stand out first lactobacillus helps digest dairy by making lactase enzyme without them milk can cause bloating or cramps they also keep the gut slightly acidic blocking harmful bacteria from entering like gatekeepers at the city walls Second, bifidobacteria. It lines your intestine, makes vitamins, regulate bowel movements and protect the gut wall from the invaders. Together, they act like the police and firefighters of your gut city, keeping law, order and safety. Now imagine this, if police go on strike and criminals take over, what happens? That's exactly what happens in your gut when balance is lost. This imbalance is called dysbiosis, which occurs when you take too many antibiotics, you eat excess junk food or sugar, you lack sleep or live under constant stress. The result, the harmful microbes multiply, leading to bloating, gas, indigestion, frequent infections, and over time, obesity, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, or even depression. In simple terms, when the wrong tenants occupy your house, don't be surprised if the furniture is broken. So how do we keep the good citizens strong and the bad ones under control? Here are simple, science-backed tips. First, eat fibers, fruits, vegetables, whole grains and nuts. Fiber is food for your microbes. Second, go colorful, red tomatoes, green spinach, Purple brinjal, yellow bananas, different colors of food support different microbial species. Third, cut junk and sugar. Sugar feeds harmful microbes. Don't arm your enemies. Fourth, healthy fats, nuts, seeds, fish, olive oil reduce inflammation. Fifth, fermented foods, curd, 
idli batter, pickles, and sauerkraut kefir add new friendly microbes to your gut. Sixth, sleep and stress control. Poor sleep disrupts microbial rhythms. Stress hormones weaken gut walls. Seventh, probiotics and prebiotics. Use well-studied probiotics like lactobacillus and bifidobacteria and give them prebiotics, fiber, bananas, onions, so they thrive. Think of your gut like a garden. If you water it, fertilize it and protect it, you will enjoy health and vitality. Ignore it and weeds will overrun it. Now let's come to some fascinating facts. Your microbiome is as unique as your fingerprint. No two people have the same. Babies born by C-section have different microbes than those born normally. And yes, doctors now treat severe gut infections with stool transplants. Transferring healthy microbiota from one person to another. Strange, but life-saving. Now let's see some frequently asked questions. Can I fix my gut in one week? No. Microbiome healing is gradual. Just like growing a garden, it takes weeks to months for a consistent diet and habits to rebuild balance. Does fasting help? Yes. Fasting gives your microbes rest and repair time. Studies show intermittent fasting can improve microbial diversity and reduce harmful species. Do microbes control cravings? Absolutely. Harmful microbes often trigger sugar cravings to feed themselves. On the other hand, a balanced microbiome reduces unhealthy cravings naturally. Are probiotic tablets enough? Not always. Probiotics can help. But unless you also provide them with proper food, fiber, prebiotics, they won't survive. It's about lifestyle, not just only one capsule. So friends, you are not just a human. You are an ecosystem, a walking universe of microbes. Half of you is actually them. Take care of your gut residents and they will reward you with energy, strong immunity, stable mood and long life. Neglect them and they can turn against you. This, my friends, is one of the greatest revolutions in modern medicine. And it begins right in your stomach. If this video changed the way you look at health, like, share and subscribe to Dr. GK Talks. And remember, gut health is total health. Namaskar. Jai Hind.